friend i am krishna kanjani from lg institute of engineering and technology welcome to the online lecture series on kinematics and theory of machine in this session we will learn about cam and follower system in previous session we have learned about the basic introduction various types of cam and various types of follower in this session we will learn about the motion of the follower that how the motion of the follower will occur in forward stroke or we can say in upward direction and while uh, it is moving in downward direction and according to this motion there are various displacement diagrams are uh, we have to plot while we are drawing a cam profile okay so uh, let's start with uh, this session with the motion of the follower okay so now the first term motion so various types of motion will occur for example if we consider that a particle is is moving with sim Uh, with constant velocity or we can say with constant increasing velocity with constant decreasing velocity or we can say a particle is moving with uh, by following a simple mathematic fun mathematical function that is simple harmonic motion okay so these various types of motion can be occur so why in case of follower the similar pattern is followed and uh, their motion is mainly classified into four categories the first one either the body is moving with uniform velocity uniform it means constant velocity either the follower will move with constant velocity during upward motion or either moving in downward motion or we can say uh, while moving in rise uh, form or we can say in upward or for and we are using for uh, downward motion we are uh, using the term return okay so here we have to follow two terms that is while it is move uh, while it is uh, in a rise phase or while it is in a return phase okay so first category that is the uniform velocity second that is simple harmonic motion third one uniform acceleration and retardation and the fourth one that is cycloidal motion okay this four type of motion can occur while we are uh, that we can define while uh, designing a cam and follower system okay so and according to this motion we have to plot displacement diagram now what is displacement diagram so it is nothing but the graph between two terms that is a uh, rotation of cam uh, if we consider the one rotation of cam so we can say 360 360 degree rotation of cam and during this 360 degree rotation or we can say during this one revolution of cam how much follower uh, follower is moving in uh, how much amount either in a upward direction or uh, we can say either in a rise form or while it is in a return form okay so according to this uh, we can plot this velocity uh, sorry this displacement diagram okay we will learn this displacement diagram one by one for each and every type of motion okay so uh, let's start with the first one that is displacement diagram for uniform velocity okay it means a body or a particle is moving with constant velocity okay so that is termed as a uniform velocity so to plot displacement diagram we need some parameters for example how much is the total displacement or we can say stroke of the follower okay so according to that we are considering this basic uh, parameters to draw the displacement diagram first one that is the rise or we can say the lift or we can say the stroke of the follower that how much it is moving in upward direction or how much amount is is it is moving in downward direction let's consider it as a 40 mm then during the rotation of cam the total rotation of cam will be one revolution or we can say 360 degree so now this 360 degree is divided into four different phases first phase while the party uh, while the follower is moving in upward direction or we can say while it is in a rise angle okay so the first considering uh, theta 1 as a rise phase why in that condition the follower will move in upward direction second position let's consider dwell so it means uh, after reaching at maximum position it will remain at that position for certain period of time okay so that period is known as a dwell so second phase if we consider as a dwell and the third one that is return so then it will uh, move uh, it will return to its initial position or we can say it will return to its down uh, bottom most position so that is the phase which is known as a return and again after returning it will remain at uh, this stage for a uh, certain period of time which is known as a again dwell okay so now 
to sketch this displacement diagram we have to consider on x axis that is the total angle of this uh, cam rotation now for one revolution we can consider that it is total 360 degree okay so now this 360 degree if we, you want to plot on a horizontal scale then you need to consider one scale okay so let's consider that 20 degree is equal to 1 centimeter if we consider that 20 degree will be represented by 1 centimeter length in this horizontal line so over here we can say so total 360 degree if you consider total angle that is 360 degree for one revolution so this 360 degree will be represented by 180 mm or we can say 18 centimeter okay so over here you need to first plot a horizontal line which is representing the one revolution of the cam or we can say the angular displacement of the cam so if we consider that this one is the total one revolution length so we need to plot this line as 180 mm now this uh, 180 mm will represent the angular motion uh, of the cam now this due to uh, due to the entire one revolution of the cam how much amount of this follower is moving in vertical direction that is termed as a displacement and this displacement we have to consider uh, as a stroke which is given as 40 mm so in vertical scale we will consider displacement so over here the stroke is given as 40 mm so we need to sketch a vertical line of 40 mm okay so your uh, movement or we can say the displacement of the follower will be rep uh, represented in this box so you need to complete this rectangular box okay so this rectangular box is uh, with a dimension of 180 mm in horizontal direction and uh, we can say 40 mm that is the stroke length 40 mm in its vertical dimension okay now this 360 degree is divided into four phases so first one that is rise or the follower which is moving in upward direction that is for 60 degree now for 20 degree is equal to 1 centimeter so we can say this 60 degree will be represented in a actual length if you uh, will divide so this theta 1 will be represented by uh, 60 degree that will be divided by 2 or we can say that is for 30 mm okay now second phase theta 2 that is 12 again you will uh, divide so it will be a 15 mm theta 3 that will be represented by 60 degree so that's why it is again 30 mm and the rest of the 210 degree that is for 12 that is your theta 4 and that will be represented by 210 by 2 so we can say 105 okay so if you will total up so 105 plus 15 that is 120 120 plus 60 total 180 mm okay so now first one that is theta 1 so you will divide the first phase theta 1 at 30 mm so at 30 mm interval you will divide this line like this okay so now uh, this 30 mm phase is known as a theta 1 or we can say the rise angle okay now you have to divide this theta 1 angle into six equal num uh, number of parts okay why we are, we are dividing it in, into six so simply as we are knowing that uniform velocity can be represented by a simple straight line but if you want to divide this total 60 degree uh, rotation into equal number of parts so and so you will be able to plot this in cam profile so you have to divide in any number of uh, divisions either you can consider 4, 6, 8 depending upon your accuracy that how much accuracy you want to obtain but in general terms we are always dividing into 6 because it is the number which will give you the perfect uh, cam profile okay so let's divide this 30 mm or theta 1 into 6 equal parts so we can say 30 by 6 so that will give you simple 5 mm so at 5 mm interval you will make lines like this so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so it is representing 6 equal divisions now uniform velocity it means constant velocity and constant velocity it means a straight line so here you need to provide first notation so let's consider this one as your 0 this one is your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 equal parts okay now this 6 equal parts will be connected with the equal number of uh, let's consider for uniform velocity so for uniform velocity we know that it is a 
constant straight line so it is uh, an inclined straight line which is joining the first starting point and the last ending point of this rectangle okay so now if you will extend this uh, uh, vertical lines so this uh, vertical lines extension where it is intersecting with this green line that will give you different points for this cam profile so if you will connect like this so these points will represent different point on your cam profile so you need to provide notation so here you will uh, if you consider for example the starting point as point a if you are considering notation as point a over here so this one is the first uh, first point let's consider it as a point a so second point is considered as a point b point c d e f and g so in this way you can obtain six different points which is representing the displacement or we can say the vertical movement of the follower okay now second phase so if you will sketch properly then it will uh, look like this so it is representing the simple uh, over here you can uh, observe this diagram so rest of the all term will remain the same okay so over here simply 60 degree that is your first theta 1 phase which is divided into 6 equal parts and this 6 equal parts if you consider so this theta 1 phase is divided into 6 equal parts 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and due to this 6 interval it is given giving us the 6 different points a b c d e f and the end point that is g okay now second phase that is known as a theta 2 or we can say dwell and for dwell we have divided simply so 20 degree scale so we have considered over here that it is 15 mm similar so here at the uh, 15 mm interval you will consider the second block which is known as a dwell now during the dwell uh, position follower will not uh, cause any type of motion so it will be it will remain at steady state condition where whether it is on a, a bot topmost point, uh, position or it is on a bottommost position so over, over here uh, do, at, at the end of rise angle it is at the topmost position so it will remain over there as it is so uh, the steady uh, the straight line uh, horizontal straight line will represent the dwell portion now theta 3 that is again return angle which is 30 mm so again at the 30 mm interval you will uh, make third block and over here again the uh, motion is in uniform velocity condition so you uh, will either follow the same procedure which you have uh, used in first block okay so same way you will simply sketch this inclined line uh, which is joining your first point and last point and you need to divide this horizontal line into six equal intervals so again it is 30 mm so 30 mm by 6 will give 5 mm so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 equal division of 5 mm so over here you will give notation after completing 6 it will be 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so this red line is representing your uh, return phase okay and uh, to obtain different points on this red line so you need to extend this line so if you are extending this line in vertical direction like this so this intersection will give you different points on this inclined line so over here you will get after completing g point over here so you have to uh, simply follow the abcd points so after g h i j k l m n and the last point after complete re uh, uh, reaching at its bottom most position the theta 4 phase that is again considered as a dwell for and for dwell angle the uh, follower will uh, be in a steady state condition so it will not move so in rest of the 105 mm that is the uh, fifth uh, fourth block you need to sketch a horizontal line which is representing the dwell position so your diagram displacement diagram will look like this so the first one that is outstroke or we can say that uh, rise second one that is dwell then return stroke and the fourth one again dwell stroke so in this way you can plot displacement diagram for various various motion of the uh, follower okay so simply uh, revising it once so first what we have done so first one 
if uh, let's uh, quickly revise this uh, procedure so first what we have considered so for first uh, initial data we had been given the theta 1 2 3 and 4 so with this uh, different four angles we have used the scale to uh, represent it on a horizontal scale okay so we have used the 20 degree is equal to 1 centimeter and accordingly we have divided this into a simple equal scale uh, scales of 30 mm 15 mm again 30 mm and 105 mm now we have draw uh, we have plot one horizontal line which is representing one revolution of cam which is equal to total 180 mm okay then we have plot one vertical line which is representing displacement or we can say the stroke of the follower which is vertical movement of 40 mm okay now this will make a complete rectangle now first one is your theta 1 phase so for theta 1 phase at 60 degree or we can say 30 mm distance we have plot one uh, rectangle and we have joined these two lines and by simply dividing into six equal parts we have obtained this a b c d g point and similar way we have followed the rest of the procedure for the return stroke okay so in this way we can plot displacement diagram for uniform velocity and this procedure is most important to uh, most important and very much required to plot the cam profile otherwise uh, if you are not able to plot displacement diagram you won't be able to sketch the cam profile okay in next session we will learn displacement diagram for rest of the three uh, motion thank you Thank you.